I'm Colleen Lavin from Particle. Last Halloween I made a video using Ift to create a haunted doll that makes the lights flicker when it detects motion. Particle is now sunsetting the Ift integration effective August 29th, 2022. So we're going to update that code so your haunted doll can live on. This video will walk you through the steps for migrating an applet from the Particle Ift integration to using webhooks with Ift instead. A webhook is a service that allows one program to send data to another as soon as a particular event takes place. Let's get started. First, go to ifttt.com and navigate to My Applets. Then select the applet you want to update and go to Settings. Next, delete the portion that calls for the particle integration. Now select Add and search for webhooks. Then select Receive a web request with a JSON payload. Next, name your event. This is the name in the IFT system and can only consist of letters, numbers, and underscores. Looking at the haunted doll code, I used the event name Hue. I'm going to use that again. IFT event names don't have to match particle event names, but I like to make them the same to simplify things. Click the Update button. Your work with the applet is done. Now it's time to connect the webhook to your particle account. To do this, you need to go back to the IFT homepage, select Services, then select Settings. There you can copy the IFT API key. That's the portion of the URL after the word Use. Now construct the Maker URL. It follows the pattern on screen. With IFT.com slash trigger slash your event name slash JSON slash with slash key slash then you actually put the API key right there. And that's it. Now copy your maker URL, then navigate to console.particle.io. Go to the integration section, select new integration, then a webhook. For event name, enter the particle event name trigger. This is the event sent by the device. In the URL field, paste your maker URL. Next, set the request type to post. Set the request format to JSON. You do need to change this. The other default values should be fine, so you're good to go. Use the test button to check that it works. I also tested the doll itself. My garage is scary enough right now, so instead of converting it into a haunted house again, I just brought the doll into my home and used it as a light switch. I would definitely die in a horror movie. Probably before the title card. Yay. If you'd like to move away from Ift completely, you can use Zapier instead. A link to that tutorial is in the description. Thank you for following along. If you have any questions about the Ift migration or your particle projects, please go to community.particle.io and make a post. You can also find these steps in the particle documentation. That's docs.particle.io. Happy hacking!